are going crazy. Good evening, everyone. On a Friday night, I'm David Usher. I'm Natalie Pascarella. We start with that local team that got to try on Cinderella's glass slipper at the NCAA men's basketball tournament. And oh, did the slipper fit. Fairleigh Dickinson followed in St. Peter's path tonight, knocking off Purdue. FDU a 16 seed, taking down a number one. News for John Chandler kicks it off for us. This is the madness, John. This is what it's all about. Gosh, Natalie, this is why you call it madness. Believe it. That's what Fairleigh Dickinson's head coach told his team, the smallest team in college basketball, by the way, going up against one seed Purdue. Tobin Anderson said the more that he watched the Boilermakers, the more he thought they could beat them. They believed because he believed. And tonight, they all met everyone believers by making history. FDU becomes just the second 16 seed to topple a number one. The Knights stun college basketball with a 63-58 win over the Boilermakers in Columbus, Ohio. Remember, 15 seed St. Peter's upset Purdue last March. Safe to say Purdue would rather not be facing any more small schools from New Jersey. Just how improbable is this? Fairleigh Dickinson won four games all of last season. Their head coach has been on the job for just 10 months, and they didn't even win their conference tournament. But this 16 seed just pulled off one of the biggest wins in sports ever. If we played them 100 times, they'd probably beat us 99 times, right? We played them 100 times, they probably, we, we have one win, but tonight's the one we played well. We, we, had, we had to be unique, we had to be unorthodox, we had to uh, make it tough on them, and, you know, just be different. And so I think a win like that's great going to the next round. I mean, every time you win, I mean, what's the, the alternatives are going home. So I think it helps our confidence, helps our um, belief in what we're doing, and we'll get prepared for, for uh, Sunday. I mean, I got to go do some laundry, but I won't get prepared for Sunday. <laughs> he didn't pack for Sunday. Now they advance to Sunday to meet the winner of Florida Atlantic at Memphis. Incredible. St. Peter's, Princeton, now Fairleigh Dickinson. Yes, Cinderella is from New Jersey. And New Jersey is where we find news for us. Chris Jose in Hackensack tonight. You took in a watch party at FDU. Chris, these fans had to be going crazy witnessing history. They sure were, John. What a night. What a night. That short time, that uh, viewing party wrapped up a short time ago. I can tell you that place was rocking all night long. To put this win into perspective for you, 16 seeds were 1 in 150 going into tonight's game in the opening round. An upset brewing all night. Only fitting for a brewery to host a Fairleigh Dickinson watch party against number one Purdue. Mike Jones owns Hackensack Brewery. The anticipation, well worth the wait. 16th seed FDU, the second team to beat a number one seed. This is big. It's only happened, what, twice ever in history? I mean, to be here and to be part of it, part of it it's amazing. The Knights from Teaneck, New Jersey, the shortest team in Division I basketball, taking down the Boilermakers 63 to 58. In a small school like this, it's very, very cool to see. So uh, you, don't, you don't expect that ever. It's called March Madness for a reason. Tevin Ankle cheering all night long, hoping for a deep tournament run. It's great for the city, it's great for the area. I mean, second year in a row, Jersey's pulling off, you know, Cinderella kind of story. So you know, I hope they can continue to keep it, uh, keeping it going. And John just mentioned this a few minutes ago, FDU getting comparisons to St. Peter's, who of course was last year's Cinderella team. St. Peter's beating Purdue in the Sweet 16. So like John said, I think it's pretty safe to say that Purdue officially hates anyone from Jersey. We're live near FDU tonight. Chris Jose, News 4 New York. Uh, yeah, I think you might be right there.